are not good at cooking. My mom was good at it. At the age of 19, they came here after getting married. When I was 13 or 14, taught me how to do the cooking. Eighty-eight years ago, Sumia was born here. I waited for her, just as if I waited for her ancestors. Two million years ago. At that time, you were used to jumping and liming for wild fruits in the jungles. But I had nothing edible for you. I'm grassland. You've made me full of vitality in the river of time. We learned to adapt to and break in each other by use of simplest ingredients, singing monotonous tunes. You've created abundant and pure delicacies, which form a unique world of nutrition on the planet. The so-called kingdom of grassland cuisine. I want to sing. In 1969, mankind made a giant leap, landing on the moon for 100, zero kilometers away from me. During the 2.5 hours, Neil Armstrong, the best known American stayed on the astronaut. Moon. He just had some takeout, a small cup of wine, and a pill-sized pancake he took from the Earth. When I look back on those days, when you first came to me, comparing with my neighbors, that is, rivers, lakes, seas, fields, I and was forests. just like outer space, bare and inhospitable. It's bits and pieces of green grass and water that sources. gives you a slim chance of survival. I'm grassland to survive here. Over one million years ago, Australopithecus walked upright for the first time. Then they learned to run and hunt. Finally, modern humans, who are thought to be the most of intelligent all creatures on the earth, evolved from them. Later, when you found that animal meat tastes bitter after being roasted over a fire, you began your pursuit for delicious food. As early as 800 years ago, when Genghis Khan went on an expedita, the soldiers were starving on the way. Eat off all creatures on the earth, is said. In their helmets over a fire. And invented barbecue on cobblestones that's been handed down till nowadays. In the ancient way of cooking, travelers can eat their fill on their journey. It's awesome.
the taste of grassland cuisine always stays with you on your trips. It's 3 o'clock a.m. today. Who live Yacht on a and his grassland? Have something very important to do. What comes first is to gather all the sheep. Let go of it. Drive it over there. Is it male or female? This newborn lamb has got some special treatment. Mongolian people have a special feeling for sheep. It's the happiest thing for a herdsman to get a baby lamb. This is a team comprising Yalt and his family, as well as their cattle and sheep. They're migrating to somewhere else, just as their ancestors did. Yalt and other males of the family take care of the animals while his wife carries their family belongings on a motorbike. The distance from a meadow for winter to one for summer is 45 the kilometers equivalent of a marathon. The whole process will last about 10 hours. As a nomad, I don't think it's tiring. We're used to it. Sheep need a rest occasionally, but we don't. One day before the migration, Yolt's wife Mungan Setsik was preparing food they could have on their way. Exposed to air, fresh milk is waiting for the arrival of bacteria. Lactic acid bacteria and lactose will turn into lactic acid and casein will form curds which, after 20 for her's fermentation, turn into yogurt. That tastes terribly sour. Sour. Is it sour? Yogurt gets even thicker after being heated in a creative way. You wrap the curds with cotton cloth to filter away and keep milk residue which will go through procedures from extrusion forming to air drying and stewing. Then, the easy to carry dried milk cake, a summertime specialty containing over 70% protein is prepared. Where is the table? When the family travels more than half of the journey, it's time to have lunch. Food has been put on the table. Yogurt enhances digestion. Dried milk cake and mutton replenish their energy. They've gathered enough strength after lunch to finish the second half of the marathon. Before cars and motorbikes were invented, nomads used leel cart, a Mongolian ox cart, as the main means of transport. We all grew up on ox carts. The lifestyle left us a good memory.
I'm grassland. While looking at you. Keep on migrating at all seasons. I have a chance of recuperating and multiplying to preserve abundant water and grass for the inhabitants here. Grass here can't be digested in human stomachs, but it can in sheeps. Having been living here since ancient sheep times, sheep have evolved a special digestive system. The ruminant stomach of for compartments. The rumen, the first compartment, is for and storage. formation of grass a sheep just swallows. Then, grass is taken to the mouth to be chewed carefully. Now, the second and third compartments, respectively called the reticulum and the massum, start to grind After and that, spring food. The real protein and other nutrition are essence. taken to the fourth and last compartment, the where food is thoroughly digested and turns into energy, making sheep fatter. The intelligent digestive system can be considered a secret kitchen prepared for people here. Sheep eat more than one kind of plant. They are very smart. They eat all plants on a grassland. You'll know which grassland a sheep once stayed. From the taste of its meat, It would have been much easier if you'd been attentive. Okay, let it go. From day to day, I witness what's happening between you and sheep. You mark every sheep with a label on its ear. It'll be recognizable no matter where it goes. Even their fur is of great value. Kagovi's mutton tastes great. What kind of sheep is healthy? The fatter, the better. The method really works. I also said so. When I taught away Anvalik, instead of scaring it, we should do it ASAP. Survival of the fittest applies here. Mutton plays an important role in your life on grassland. Each and every part is fully made use of. However, it's cooked in a very simple way. Put mutton into boiling water and stew it for 30 minutes. The only seasoning is common salt. Get the mutton out of the pot as soon as the color changes. Thus, the maximum original. Taste and flavor is preserved. As for how mutton is eaten, you have your own ideas. Ribs are for women and jiggets for men. Scapulas are handed out to everyone by the elders and tails are given to children. All food has to be offered to heaven and God of fire before our parents and elders have a taste. Tails are the most nutritious. So, they're given to children. A horse rider. Some people didn't like mutton. But when they came here and found us eat mutton with relish, their mouths began to water. After having a taste, they thought it was and really said tasty. That our mutton is different from what they had before. Boiled lamb chops plays a leading role among grassland cuisine. Day by day, 
The simple and natural taste will remain unchanged as long as man still raises sheep on grasslands. This is where I was born. Fifty years have passed. I'm over 50 already. We always follow the laws of nature. I'm grassland, across Eurasia, through tens of thousands of years of development, small and large tribes have gradually formed in my kingdom. What's taking place in my central region is a summer memorial service. Descendants of the Darkhad, or Dorhat, for maintaining the great Kong's Sing him in ancient language. To commemorate the hero Genghis Khan, 800 years ago, Genghis Khan, leading his army, conquered both my east and west sides. His kingdom was in full flourish for a while. Nowadays, you still keep the tradition of and worshipping gods. To ancients. You pray for sufficient rainfall and lush meadows, which sheep live on. Nodam Fair, a Mongolian traditional also fair, becomes a paradise of food, where mare's milk, yogurt and meat are shared among people of all ages and both sexes. I'm grassland. This is a five-star restaurant close to me. A dish which always ranked first on the menu of grassland cuisine according to legend has been reproduced here as an extravagant feast. There are over 120 cooks. We have to share the common ideas about cooking. Only in this way can we move forward. When it comes to the top banquet, it must be roasted holox, sheep banquet for Mongolian people. In the Yuan dynasty, it was held to treat for from different regions for a national conference. For roasted holox, sheep is banquet. 50 kilograms enough? 15 seats it's per enough table. for 350 guests. A holox or sheep is the key to such a banquet. For 300 guests, a whole ox For 100 is guests, two whole sheep may be roasted. The favorite food for people on grasslands is meat. A whole animal stands for the highest level of courtesy. Chefs spend most of their time and energy on the ox. One, two, go. Push. We didn't move it. Lift the handlebars. Push the cart backwards. Let's try again. One, two, go. The weight of an ox equals that of five people. In the city, whose space is limited compared with mine, it becomes more difficult unavoidably. Preparing such a dish needs good teamwork. It got my foot. Stop laughing. Roasted Holox Banquet is just a royal feast all together. A grand ceremony is necessary. Next, we're going to present Roasted Holox Banquet, a delicacy out of this world, which took 72 hours and went through over 99 procedures.
In those days, there were dress codes for people who went to the banquet, even songs were like a and performance for the Mongolian royal. When the banquet finished, we could see numerous precious accessories made of pearls and corals, etc. When a traditional dish is served in modern it dates, not only has to show the style of grassland cuisine, but also needs to cater to consumer taste. That Sun Jian Hao has been thinking about. Actually, cooking was much simpler. Over 500 years ago, I don't think anything valuable has failed to be handed when down. When we tried to reproduce a dish, we've improved it according to Kleinson's. Have a taste. Is it good? At that time, what puzzled me most was lack of new kinds of ingredients. We just have beef Each and mutton. part of a sheep except wool has I been tried. I wondered how we could make further innovations. We hope it to become something tender with a crispy crust. When I went on a tour of investigation, I ordered a steak in a small western restaurant. Then I thought if we could make something high quality like that in western cuisine, since we're in a beef and mutton producing area. These new Saint Il dishes are created by Sun Jian Hao and his team. This piece of meat has changed a lot when it goes to the city from my world. I learned from senior chefs when I was a trainee. Lamb spine tastes good, it's good. It's not easy to find such good lamb spine in heart. Mr. Sun still loves boiled mutton. Although he has tried numerous delicacies, the taste remains changeless in my world. To guarantee the authentic flavor, mutton has to be transported to cities in a traditional way. All the meat in our restaurant is purchased from my hometown. In my opinion, the meat there is especially authentic. Just a second, here we Those are. Those trees were planted by my grandpa. My grandpa's trees are a proof that our home is there. Each time I see grandpa's trees, I know I'm home. Hi, uncle. I want to get some meat. What do you have? There is both dried and fresh meat. Okay, I'll take both. This is a bag of dried meat. This is fresh meat. Okay, I take it. He's Mola. His parents left me for the city when they were young. He often travels to and from between me and there, collecting ingredients for Hayas family restaurant. This is dried meat. It's ear dried. It's hot. Have a taste. Dried meat is awesome. Authentic meat produced in Jingxiang by Banner. The meat quality is it's great. Good. Oyan Setsun, Muller's mom, is making a dish popular on the border of Mongolia and Russia, Rutunzi. It's a kind of crispy fried cake stuffed with meat, which was Muller's favourite in his childhood. What did you put in it? Stewed food.
It's good, right? I think my mom is expert at cooking. She once ran a restaurant in Mongolia with my dad. I remember clearly what it was like when went home after school and found that the dinner was ready and my parents were waiting for me and my brother. Outside the restaurant, Mola has another identity. He's also a rapper. I'm Grassland. Mola will compose a song when he me. misses me. Turn down the sound equipment. Is it okay? Tonight I'm going to show you no the more way. ins, but the gins. Bring it in. Toast to toast. Yeah, we party through moonlight. Today, he comes here with his friends to shoot a music video for his new song. Let's do it before it gets dark. Okay, let's get started when everything is prepared. Okay. Yo. It's raining. Let's continue if it's Shoot okay. Shoot as much as possible. Sometimes, you can experience in one day seasons. in my world. It rained at dusk, which discouraged them. Put it on yourself. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, it's the suitable place for a disaster film instead of AMV. Let's eat pizza, roasted first. We'll have some perfect pizza, hot pizza, pizza with sticky milk cake. This is cold. It's not like that when it's hot. When it's hot, it's cooler. Cooler. It won't do if you come here without solid food. With the pizza Mola took here, they thought it was still warm. Despite the piercingly cold come on. wind at night, who need pizza? Tonight I'm going to show you no the way. more in's Instagram, but the gyms. Bring it toast in. to toast. Yeah, we party through moonlight. Just as dried milk cake Migration was prepared one day for. in advance, a new product made of milk cake, that is, milk cake pizza, was also prepared by Muller's mom one day before he set off. Milk cake pizza I ate for the first was time was made by my mom. She did it because she needed something new for the menu. Finding that under milk cake were blueberries. I thought that it was a great idea. Tenga dil is a Mongolian word I like very much. A dil means the thread that sews a gap in the sky. The thread is the Milky Way. What matters is the taste. Instead of the whole eating a good experience. taste is the most important. That's something we'll miss. With the memory of the taste, they come back to the depths of grassland again. Hello, Grandma. This morning, 85-year-old Sonam, together with his great-granddaughter, comes to see Sumia, his sister aged at 88. Thanks for what you've done, how is the milk? 
the source of Sumia and Sonam's longevity, includes a nutritious dish. Over 1,000 years ago, non-natives came here with fermentative tea leaves. You pour fresh milk into boiled tea and then add three specialties here which is parched rice, cream and butter to make a kind of special tea with a flavour unique to grasslands. It's called milky tea. The tea drinks perfect the menu of grassland cuisine. Sea tea leaves are rich in vitamin C, which is the only nutrient necessary for human body but missing in animals and plants here. Now, we're short of nothing. Have some milky You're tea. You're here, so scapulars should be given to you. I'm too old to eat meat now. I'm satisfied that I could do that in the past 88 years. What gives me greatest happiness is a blessing for children is the happiest thing for people living on grasslands. Grass is used by you as a sign of time. When it turns green again after winter, you know that a new year begins. Having seen me resume growth three times, the little boy Amgalan is going to be three years old. The whole clan is preparing a once in a lifetime ceremony for him, which marks that he'll become a real herdsman. You want to ride a horse, right? Let's go horseback riding later. All tradition food has been prepared. The next step of the ceremony is to shave off Am Galen's hair he has worn since he was born. Play with him to distract him. Alas, dot look. Great. He has his hair shaved off it before saves he knew us it. energy. Good looking. At the end of the ceremony, before the whole family has a big meal. With such a haircut, he looks like a real boy. Since the moment he's taken onto the horseback by Zobisk Solchu, he's had his own cattle and sheep. Whose sheep are they? And Galen, use your telescope. Did you see? It's too far. There are also sheep over there. Time flies. A lot of people have been spending a lifetime in peace here and become grey-haired. With numerous migrations, Humans have been living here for several million years. I'm grassland. 
being part of natural circulation is the best taste. Grassland cuisine can offer 